Alright everyone, welcome to part 3. In this tutorial we're going to begin soft modding our Xbox. So as you can see here I got two files on my desktop, Explorer 360 and the Xbox soft modding tool by Rocky5. You can find the links for this in the description. And What you're going to want to do is extract these and what I'm going to do is use 7-zip Okay, and here are all my files now. I am going to open up the SoftMod Toolmaster folder, and what we're going to be doing is running the build softmod zip.bat. That will give us this zip file which we can now extract. And inside the softmod package folder, we have several different game saves here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go into each of these zip files and extract the memory card saves. So let's start with 007 Agent Under Fire. And then we'll do Mech Assault. Splinter Cell NTSC, which is the American version. Soft Mod Save. And Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 NTSC. Now you don't have to do all of these, just do the Soft Mod Save and then the game version that you have. But I'm going to do all of them. Now that we got our files, we're going to. Uh, run Explorer 360. You can see we receive an error. At least I do. Maybe you don't have this error, but if you do, um, there's an easy way to fix that, and that is to download this DLL file. And what we're going to have to do is open up the local disk and go under Windows and scroll down to SysWow64. Now if you don't have SysWow64, you're probably running a 32-bit version of Windows. In that case, go into System32. But if you have SysWow64, open this folder up. And then just grab your msvcr71.dll and paste it in here. Now we can open up Explorer 360. going to go to drive, open, hard drive, or memory card. I'm going to click on partition zero. Navigate through to the memory card save where the uh, numbers start. And just copy that onto the Explorer 360. Right on the right side here. Do the same thing with Mech Assault. Splinter Cell Tony Hawk and our soft mod now that's all done you can just close out of Explorer 360 and you can safely eject your memory card now let's go ahead and power on our Xbox and plug in our memory card. And if we go to controller port 4, which is where I have my memory plugged in, we got all the saves right here. So let's go ahead and copy these over to the hard disk. Now I'm over on Agent Under Fire, I'm just going to click it to the right to highlight the game save. Press A and then copy to the hard disk. And I'm going to press B, go down, copy to the hard disk for Mech Assault. Splinter Cell, Tony Hawk, and the Soft Mummy Tool.
Okay, now you can remove your memory card. Now you can see here that uh, I got six different video games that we're going to give the give a shot to see if we can soft mod uh, using these titles. And the first one is Agent Under Fire, and then the second one is also Agent Under Fire. This is the Platinum Hits version, and according to what people say online is you can identify the version that's compatible by looking right here and if you see 1448517 that version is compatible and we have Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Platinum Hits version of Splinter Cell Mech Assault and Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Okay guys, so I actually went through four different DVD drives before I found one that actually worked. Okay, for both editions of Agent Under Fire, we have to go to Select Mission and just start the mission. Once the mission loads up, go ahead and press A. And once you can start moving around, just press the Start button and go to Quit Mission and say Yes. From here you can click B and then click on Load Mission and then select Xbox Hard Disk. Okay, now that we know that Agent Under Fire works, let's try the next game. Do Tony Hawk next. So for Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, we're gonna go down to Build Park. And then we press start, load park, hit yes, and then we're going to click hack Xbox. Now at the Mech Assault main menu, we're going to hit campaign and run Linux. Let's try Splinter Cell next. With Splinter Cell, we're going to click on Start Game, and then click Linux. Okay, now that we're at this screen, we're going to go ahead and press A on this menu. Press A for I understand. Press A again. And press A one more time. You can go ahead and eject the disc out of your Xbox. And there we are, we now have a soft modded Xbox. We'll also need to build our XISO Extras disc. To do that, we just double click the build XISO.bat. And now the ISO shows up right here. You should use the program Image Burn to burn your X ISO's disk. We're going to click on the button that says Write Image File to Disk. I'm going to select the source. And then the write speed may be set to AWS or max. You want to just set it to 1x or the lowest number possible by your DVD drive. You can use either CDs or DVDs, but just be aware that a DVD will probably have the best chance of running on your particular Xbox DVD drive. Okay, I just put in a DVD into my DVD burner. And now the option to write shows up. We'll click on that.
Okay, we're all set. Now that the disk was able to get burned and verified, we can click OK and close out of here. Now you can eject the disk and label it Xbox Softmod Extras Disk. We will use this disk in an upcoming tutorial. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to join me in part four where I talk about how to repair an Xbox with a bad hard drive.